Good morning, you guys. Welcome to a new vlog. I know I'm looking crazy right now, but because it's a vlog, I can get on camera looking crazy. Because <laughs> this is real life, okay? So anyways, good morning, but I think today is going to be a hair day because even though I, I love this hair, I've had it in for quite a while. These are clip-ins. Um, all clip-ins that I got from Amazon. And I love this hair because it kind of mimics, you know, real, more realistic, like African-American hair, um, like a blowout, you know, blow dry or something like that, but you can flat iron, flat iron it like super bone straight. So I like it because it's easy and I like the texture of it. You know, I don't want anything super, super shiny and slippery, but yeah, I'm gonna take this out for now. I can wash them and, you know, reuse them and all that stuff. Cause like I said, they're clip-ins. Now I did order some more clip-ins to try. These are like curly and I ordered them from the same brand, but these are not like, these say human hair, which, you know, I don't know, but I like it because I can flat iron it, wash it, reuse it and all that stuff. So um, it works out well, but this says human hair feeling. <laughs> So, uh, this is just a protein fiber, 100% protein fiber is what it says on the pack, chow. And I'm not surprised because they're very, very inexpensive. But I want to try like some curly uh, clip ins. So, that's why I grabbed this because it is very curly, very wavy, and I like the color on it. So I think it's going to be a hair day today, but this is how it comes. Very, very pretty. I like this color. It's, a, you know, darker than this, but it still has like a pretty, pretty tone to it. And it has the dark roots up here, but this is what it looks like before, you know, it's like maneuvering and stuff. So I think I'm going to put these in today. So I'm gonna take these out, wash my hair, try and finagle these, um, you know, and make it kind of blend in with my hair, which obviously is not curly like this, and see how it looks. So that's on the agenda today. I just woke up, um, got a good night's rest, but your girl does need her coffee. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get my day started, take a shower, refreak, refresh, and then we'll see what's happening today. like my bath and body works candles are not lasting as long as they used to because when I tell you like the last sale I bought um I know I bought at least 30 candles and when I tell you I ain't got no candles <laughs> and I mean granted I do bring candles you know like 
pretty much all day in my house, right? So I have this cute little holder that I got from them. It has the marble base and has like the copper wiring around it. It's really, really cute. And it looks nice, you know, in a more kind of formal decor area. But y'all, I'm like, dang, I am literally out of candles. Like what happened to all my candles? But I mean, I do be burning them like crazy though. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So as you can see, I did switch out my hair. I did go ahead and put the new clip-ins, the curly ones. This is how long it is. Goes down to my breast. Um, and I'll link them in the description box just in case you're curious. But I like this color. It's really, really pretty. The hair is very, very soft. Now, I don't know how this is long this is going to last because I told you guys it said on the pack human-like texture so <laughs> you know this might be looking real ratty after a week but for a quick little hairdo of some clip-ins i actually really really like it okay like it it's pretty i like the waves and the texture and stuff i did go ahead if you like if you all up in my business if you all up in my business you can see like kind of you know the edge of the clip in or whatever i just try to camouflage it a little bit as much as i could but child i like it i love it i like the length the length is perfect it's not too long not too short um i actually i did order another pack because i want to put a little more in the back i felt like i was going to run out in the front so i started putting the clip ins in the front um and I did run out, so I feel like I need to put like two more back here because I don't have any in the very, very lower part and I really want some back there, so. But honey, it's, it is full. It's definitely full. I don't know if you guys can see how long it is, but that's how long it is. It's definitely full. I love the look and texture of it, the waves and curls, so I'm happy happy with the new hair now I just popped on some lashes some strip lashes because I'm probably not gonna put on my individual lashes until I know I'm not gonna be wearing makeup for like a week or so because since I want to try out those nomad palettes I don't want to have the individual la lashes on because I'm going to have to keep taking them off, putting them on, taking them off, putting them on. So I just found some strips and I probably should have cleaned these because I know that they have a little bit of <laughs> color, a little bit of shimmer on them from a previous eye look, but child, I ain't tripping. So these are the Cancer, Cancer Lashes from Cara Beauty and I like them a lot. I think they're, they're nice lashes to have on with no makeup but yeah so your girl is having a very unhealthy snack it's actually about three o'clock i don't know aside from me taking those clip-ins out washing my hair you know putting these in i can't even tell you what i've been doing but I'm about to get into something. So anyway, does anybody else be chilling with the heater and the AC on? Why tell you getting old? It's a trip. It's it's a trip for real. Okay. So anywho. I'm not sure exactly what I'm about to get into. I just turned on Netflix and it's like a whole little docuseries, I guess, on Ashley Madison. Y'all know the website that was geared towards married people who want to like cheat and have affairs and stuff. They got a whole docuseries on it. So I'm like, I'm assuming these are just the people that started the website or ran the website because was it people that was on the website? Because I'm assuming they probably not married no more. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, very interesting subject matter. I guess I'm going to check it out because I'm nosy. And I want to see what's happening. <laughs> but anyway, 
or I'll give it y'all later. guys so this is the final look you guys see that I went in with the blue green nomad palette the YXC which is the Canadian Rockies palette okay and this is the eye look I came up with no shimmers today okay no shimmers at all so let me just swatch so you can see what the shimmers look like and click in case you're curious these are the two shimmers that are in this palette. Gorgeous, blue and green. But we did no shimmers today, honey. I wanted to do a matte look. Um, still able to brighten it up. As you see, I went in with this light shade on the inner corner. I put the blue in the middle. I put um, the dark green on the outer corner. And I kind of used, what did I use? this shade here as my transition up top. So I used a good amount of the shadows. Did I use all? Yeah, I used all of the matte shadows except for the two shimmers. So yeah, and this is the look. I absolutely love it. Beautiful, gorgeous. I mean, these shadows are extremely pigmented. They layer well, as you can see on top of each other because I did go in with the transition then the um blue and then the darker green and I just and the lighter and I just kind of blended it all together I went in with the blue shade on my lower lash line because I wanted to add a little bit of color and smokiness but yeah this is it okay um and a little black eyeliner and a little mascara you know I have on the lashes so this is the look. I absolutely love it, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. I'm loving these cute little palettes. They're easy to use because you only have six shadows. So it's not like you can get overwhelmed with it. You know, you can do a two shadow look, a six shadow look, whatever you want. And as you can see, you don't have to use the shimmers or you can't. So I love it, love it, love it. So I had a good time using it. I used my Laura Mercy A foundation today, went in with the sponge because, you know, I wanted to kind of not put too much foundation on with it getting hotter out here in Vegas. Don't really want to feel cakey on my face. For under my eyes, I used my um, True Skin from Catrice. And it's like I'm trying to get 
a little more comfortable with letting some of my natural skin flaws and blemish blemishes show through because of the fact that I don't always want to have on so much makeup. I still have on a lot of makeup, but for my under eyes, not quite as much as I normally would have on. You can still see a hint of my dark circles. Also going in with my brightening concealer from Juvia's Place. You know, I just went in with a little bit of that. For my powder, I actually was using my Huda Beauty um, cinnamon bun for my concealed areas, brightened areas, but this powder is actually one I can use all over my face because it really is pretty much a perfect match for me to just use it all over my face. So for brightening, I probably will go in with a brighter loose powder in the future. I just set the rest of my face with my lip bar, which is a little bit darker than the Huda Beauty, so it works out. I bronzed with my ColourPop bronzer in the shade Moonlight Beach. Love this bronzer. And I kind of went ham, a little ham with my blush um, and highlighter today. I don't use this palette often. This is the Bombshell palette from, ooh, who is this from? Juno & Co. Yeah, from Juno & Co. Really, really pretty. But it's not a highlighter that I would use often. This one is too light and this one is pretty glittery. So I don't know if you can really see, but it kind of has those teeny tiny glittery specks in there that are not my favorite, but you know, it's fun to play with sometimes. And I love the color of this blush. It is a gorgeous shade. And as you can see, it just really kind of blends in nicely with the rest of my makeup. So went in with that for my lips i used my sephora lip liner um in espresso i believe this is the color molasses what do i use in espresso i don't know anyways but the color is molasses so it's molasses lip liner from sephora i went in with one of my little elf lipsticks Oof, i got shimmer all over <laughs> my fingers still but i went in with one of my elf um Lipsticks that I never use. It's like I have so many lip products that I never use and you know I need to get some use out of them and because of the fact that I really love a nude lip I need to at least start using my nude shade. So just a little elf lip lipstick regular bullet lipstick and then I went on top of that with my LA Colors High Shine lip gloss. So that is it y'all. I'm loving loving. My main thing was the eyeshadow palette. I love Nomad and their shadows never disappoint me. So I'm not surprised, but I really like this look today. Okay. So anyway, I think I'm going to actually kind of go through some of my spring dresses. I really want to wear more summer dresses during the spring and summertime. I'm not really a summer dress type of chick, but... I have a lot of sundresses and I usually take them on vacation with me because I like to go on cruises and tropical places. So they work out perfectly to just throw on when you're on vacation. But I kind of want to wear them more when I just kind of out and about at home and things like that. So I'm going to go in my closet, go through and pull out some of my sundresses and just kind of share the ones that... I really, really like with you guys that I want to try and wear during this season and match them up with some shoes. I don't know about bags, but at least some shoes. So it'll be easy for me to just grab one and put one on when I go out and, you know, do shopping or things like that. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about the eyeshadow look, the eyeshadow palette, the rest of my makeup, and I'll meet y'all in the closet. Okay, you guys, so I just pulled out some of the dresses, sundresses out of my spring and summer clothes and put them on this rack here that I want to kind of try and wear this season. So I just want to show you guys, share them with you, match them up with some cute little easy shoes, right? So hopefully it'll make it easier for me to grab one and throw one on when it's like super hot and I want to try to wear something different. So this one is just like your very basic sundress, okay? Like you might have wore these, you know, when you were, you know, a young girl or whatever, but it's the basic sundress style that has the two tie-up straps for the arms. 
Now, this dress I actually bought in Hawaii, okay? You know, if you've ever been to Hawaii, they sell these on every corner. They have every different pattern, design, color scheme, whatever you want to call it. So I have a lot of these type of dresses. I actually gave some away because when I was in Hawaii, I was buying them like every day. But yeah, I love this type of dress because it has versatility and it's really pretty easy, flowy and comfortable. It's not super long as you can see, but yeah, I like it because you can wear it with the straps tied um, for both arms or you can like tuck the two back straps and tie the two front straps as like a halter. You know, you can just tie it as a halter in the front or you can tuck all four straps and wear it as, um, what do you call it, like a tube dress. Like if I was to, you know, tuck these two straps, I can wear this top. It's just like a tube top. Um, and so you can do this dress as that, like that as well with no straps if you want. So I really like it. I like the coloring, the black and the orange and the green and the white. It's really pretty, really bright and just kind of nice and flowy and airy for spring. And the shoe that I actually pulled to wear with this dress is this cute little espadrille because it's not super duper high, very comfortable. You know, it's a shoe that you can just wear that looks cute during the summertime. And I haven't worn these yet. I just got these. I think I got these from Ross, as a matter of fact. I don't know if you can see the brand in there, but yeah, let me just show you this is the brand name for this shoe in case you're curious but yeah i believe i picked these up from ross and i think these will look really cute with this dress with them being the black and the tan so that's what i picked to go with this dress which is really cute easy to throw on the next dress i pulled out of my closet is this one here and this one actually is let me put my phone on mute <laughs> So like I was saying, this dress actually is um, a halter dress. So it has this little halter part here that ties around the neck with the pretty little green and black tassels. And this is what, you know, the top looks like. I haven't taken it off the hanger because it's like, you can pretty much see. It's not super duper long, but it is considerably, you know, it's long enough. And it is asymmetrical at the bottom. So you can see that the outer portions are longer than the middle part so it's a really really pretty dress i actually got this dress in puerto rico you guys i fell in love with it it was hanging up and you know i always gotta buy some type of souvenir or something to bring home so i bought this in puerto rico and this one has more of a green vibe to it i bought another one that has really pretty blue like navy blue vibe to it with the same like paisley type pattern patterns on it but it's really really pretty so the back has this um you know what do you call it like the stretchy um elastic ruching on the back so it could fit several different sizes looks like i paid 45 bucks for this dress okay but yeah, so I did. Got this in Puerto Rico. Thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And as far as a shoe to wear with it, I think this one would be cute. It's kind of along the same vibe as the last one, except this one has a, a decent size heel on it, you know, and it's just like an open toe, really cute open toe with the tan heel. But I think what makes it really, really pretty is that it has a tie up for your leg. So it gives you that little bit of that sexy vibe to it to go along with this pretty sexy halter type dress for summer and spring. I think I would wear this out more so um, if I was like going out to lunch or brunch or something with hubby and I wanted to kind of look kind of cute look a little sexy or whatever i think that's when i will wear that so really pretty now this one very very cute and casual i think i got this from shein actually i think i bought this last year from shein and it's a really really pretty sundress very light airy and flowy as you can see it's not super long either i like the little spaghetti straps on here but i really really like the back strap because it's like a t-strap in the back so it's one of those where 
you know, you can wear no bra <laughs> or do, um, you know, like a little halter top or something that just gives you a little lift. But yeah, it's very, very light, airy and flowy for the spring and summer. And I like the color scheme in here, the reds and the blues with the stripe pattern, I think is really, really pretty. Now for this, I actually grabbed this um wedge <laughs> if you haven't realized by now i love wedges and sandals and things but wedges i like to wear with sundresses so these are some like denim type wedges that i've actually had for so long i don't even remember where i got them from but they are really really cute design like i said they have that pretty blue denim going on which matches with the dress nicely these are extremely comfortable so i could wear these around you know all day if i was going out with the girls or you know just whatever out and about so i think that matches nicely with that so that's an easy outfit for me to grab and throw on i would just have to figure out what i want to do about the girls but it's like during spring and summer a lot of times, child, I just be letting them hang, okay? <laughs> so, excuse me. But um, this is the next dress. Really pretty. I believe I got this from Shein also. It's this really cute, like, burnt rust color. You know? I don't know. It's a little bit deeper, but um, really, really pretty. And I love this, like, lace detailing here right under the breast area. This is another dress that's not super duper long, so it'll keep you nice and cool. It's nice and flowy, has the spaghetti straps that are actually quite long. And I like the back because in the back, it does crisscross. So when you put it on, the straps in the back do crisscross, which is really, really cute. Love that. But yeah, I do like a nice, cute um, sundress that has a cute little V in the front. So yeah, I really like that about this. And the shoes that I pulled to wear with this dress are these wedges, <laughs> once again. These are a cream color. I've had these forever. Um, yeah, these are, I don't know, what does that say? I don't know if you can read that in there. Let me see, but that's the brand on those if you can see that if you're curious but i've had these forever and these are very comfortable as well but i thought they would go nicely with the cream detailing here you know with the uh, cute little shoes i thought that would go nice so that's a really quick simple easy um summer dress outfit now this dress oh my gosh i love 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 this dress <laughs> there's so many different aspects of this dress that i absolutely love first of all i love the colors the pink and the green love pink and green together i love the fact that is you know it's like it's not super short but it's not super long it's like the perfect length of sundress for me very very pretty the design on this dress is another aspect that i absolutely love it has the straps of course for the halter so it's a halter sundress in the back it's like if you're not really comfortable with your back being out you might not like this dress because it does go low on the back um, but it has this strap that goes across the back which looks really really pretty all you have to do is just tie that and you know you have a nice, airy, cool, relaxed, open back for your dress. And, you know, the back is just a regular sundress. But I really, really love, you know, the little whooshing or scrunch area right here. It's just really, really cute when you put it on. And like I said, the green and pink is just so cute. Like, I could wear it with this eye look right now, you know, if I wanted to. But it's really pretty and I really, really love this dress. It was kind of difficult for me trying to decide, well, what shoe would I wear with this dress? Because I wouldn't wear a pink or a green shoe with this dress. But I think I would go more nude. So I would wear these because these would kind of just blend in with my actual skin tone. And I really like the cute design on these. These are really comfortable to wear. Um, these are blowfish malibu i got these on amazon they're probably linked in my amazon um store which is in the description box you can check that out i'm pretty sure they are 
but yeah got these on amazon cute little strappy nude wedge and i think they would look really cute with this with a matching bag that will match the shoe so that is an easy outfit as well for um sundress and then last but not least i got this sundress when my girl lily was here visiting okay um she came down to visit before we went to go stay on the strip for a few days we were shopping tj maxx marshall's ross um and we stopped at five below i never gone to that five below i've been to five below once before i think and years and years ago when i was still in california but you know how they have t-shirts so i bought some little uh screen printed t-shirts and stuff and then i also got this dress she was looking at this dress and she got the black one i believe and so i saw this one and i was like oh that's a pretty color so it's like a brown it's kind of like I don't know if it's like a mix between like a tannish brown or like a army greenish brown, but you guys see it here. It's just like a dirty brown, <laughs> but the color I just thought was so, so pretty. So this is just a simple halter dress, okay? As you can see, it's just a basic halter dress that you put on so easy breezy, easy to wear. I've actually worn this around the house and it's super comfortable. The back is out. So, you know, this comes up like mid back and it's just your basic, long, relaxed, comfortable summer dress. And I don't know how much we paid for these, but it couldn't have been a lot buying it from five below, but this is super long. So this one definitely goes all the way down to my ankles and I love it. It's really, really comfortable, really soft, easy breezy. And so, yeah, I definitely will wear this. I'm not sure if I will feel super comfortable wearing it out and about. I don't know, cause this is just more of like something I would kind of, you know, just roam around the house in comfortably, but I don't know, but it is a very, very pretty dress. And so, if I did wear it out, I'd probably wear it with like some comfortable flats. So I did pull these. These are kind of like an army green shade. They're not the exact same match, but you know, they're they're good enough, I feel, to wear with this dress. And these kind of go up the ankle with the little strap ties and everything. Super comfortable, super cute. I have black shoes like this that I wear all the time when I'm on vacation or just out and about. So yeah, they definitely would look really, really cute with this long ankle length sundress. So, you know, I'm kind of excited just pulling this stuff out and sharing it with you guys because sometimes you have to do that to force yourself to wear things that you have in your closet that you really don't wear and that is just kind of sitting there. And, you know, because we tend to just pull and wear the same stuff, you know, whatever we're comfortable with day in and day out. I'm definitely a t-shirt and shorts or a tank top and shorts or t-shirt and jeans and tennis shoes type of chick or sandals if I'm feeling, <laughs> you know, a little fancy. But I really, you know, I buy these clothes and I think that they're beautiful and I want to wear them and then I just put them in the closet and never touch them. So, yeah, I'm going to have to start doing that. Just putting things on my rack, putting them in front of my face and forcing myself to wear them so I get use out of them. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about these dresses. Do you have anything like this? Do you guys have certain articles of clothing that you buy and you love, but you never wear it? Because, child, I know I do. So anyways, if y'all see me in some of these sundresses looking cute in my vlogs, you know, don't be surprised, okay?
are because God can't deal with them if you still dealing with them. You can't hunger for healing and still thirst for those who broke you. Catch it. God can't deliver you from the storm if you too busy sleeping with it. God can't deliver you from the storm if you too busy arguing with it. God can't deliver you from the storm if you too busy apologizing to it for the damage it inflicted upon your life. You got to surrender them folks to God so you can heal. And when I say surrender, I mean surrender. I mean say their names if not, leave it on the playground. Full government name, address, and social security number if you got it. So whatever text message you was getting ready to send, delete it. Leave them blocked because God can't deal with them if you still dealing with them. You can't hunger for healing and still thirst for those who broke you. Catch it. God can't deliver you from the storm if you too busy sleeping with it. God can't deliver you from the storm if you too busy arguing with it. God can't deliver you from the storm if you too busy apologizing to it for the damage it inflicted upon your life. You got to surrender them folks to God so you can heal. And when I say surrender, I mean surrender. I mean say their names. If not, leave it on the playground. Full government name, address, and social security number if you got it. So whatever text message you was getting ready to send, delete it. Leave them blocked because God can't deal with them if you still dealing with them. Hey, y'all. I just got in the car. It's 105 degrees. Do you see that? 105 degrees. And I ain't got no gas. But where I need to go, that's enough gas to get me there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we are not filling up this tank. It's hot as I don't know what. I only got a few errands to run, so that's enough gas to get me where I need to be. Y'all can probably hear this air blaring in this car because it is. 105 degrees <laughs> so yeah but i just got a few errands to run i put some gas in my vehicle a little later not right now because it's too hot and the thing about living out here getting in your car when it's this hot is like you want to wear shorts and a tank top but honey you get in your car and you try to sit on these seats nice leather seats touch the steering wheel you will burn yourself your, your thighs will be sizzling <laughs> so yeah it's like I put on jeans and a t-shirt because child I am not trying to be sizzling I need to get me something to cover my car seat like when it's super hot since I do have to park my car outside of the garage because my husband has the garage filled with other things but yeah it's like you will definitely burn your legs burn your hands hide your kids hide your wife <laughs> y'all remember that hide your kids hide your wife because we gonna get you that was a real fun time real fun time on the internet <laughs> when they used to take news reports and make stupid songs out of them and everybody would be singing them everybody knew them songs that mess was hilarious hide your kids hide your wife i can't even remember the rest of the words but i definitely remember that <laughs> called the bedroom intruder or something like that that mess was hilarious anyway if you don't know what i'm talking about i probably sound crazy but yeah that mess was funny he said you are dumb you are really really dumb so anyway going to run some errands also going to pick up my free gift from the casino which is never free honey but I'm going to get that. <laughs> and yeah, just kind of see what's going on out and about. Might stop by a couple of stores and, uh, you know, pick up a few things that I don't need. But other than that, just wanted to say, hey, good morning. It's actually 1130. I'm getting a very late start. I was talking to my son. Yeah, my son is 28. I believe he'll be 29 in December. He's a Sagittarius. And uh, love him to death. So, yeah, anyway, I was talking to him and just kind of being brought up to speed. He's in school right now. He did, what, seven, eight years in the Navy um, and then got out. So he's finishing up his schooling now and he's transferring to Cal State Fullerton. Um, in the fall so I'm very very proud of him and my daughter she's going to school as well she did about the same amount of time
time, um, maybe a year longer, I'm not sure, seven, eight years in the Air Force. And so now it's like kind of like they did things backwards. You know, they went to the military, did a nice little stint in the military, and now they are both in college and doing quite well, I might add. So, yeah, my daughter is 30. She turned 30 in January. So, yeah, my son has to be 28. And he will be 29. Because they were just slightly less than two years apart when they were like little, you know, little ones out the womb. But yeah, so a little bit of information about my kids. My kids is grown, grown, okay? Grown, grown. <laughs> I love them to death. So anyways, had a little chit chat with him, you know, he was telling me about what's going on with him and school and life and what he's been up to. And, you know, I talk to my daughter quite frequently as well. But yeah, my children are my heart, okay? I cut you, I cut you, I cut you good over one of my kids, okay? So anyway. That's that, but I will check in with you guys later. If I do some shopping, maybe I'll take you guys to do a little shopping with me. But other than that, it's a very chill day, honey. Ain't nobody trying to be just roaming around in no 100 degree weather, you know? So we'll see what happens, but I'll get with y'all later. Y'all, is this too bougie? Because when I tell you, it be hot as hell when I get in my car during the summertime. I got this little rug that I used to use in my beauty room. I get tired of burning my legs when I have on shorts. And y'all know I have to put on some shorts in this 100 degree weather. Is this too bougie? Oh, well, I don't care if it is, honey. <laughs> I'm tired of burning my thighs. So we about to be sitting on this little fur when we driving, okay? Y'all, I am feeling so lazy today. Really not so much lazy. I'm just super chill and comfortable. And I'm like, you know what? I'm about to just kick it, relax, watch me some YouTube videos or whatever. And I ordered me a cute little acai bowl, okay? I haven't even opened it yet, as you can see. But I ordered me a cute little acai bowl. And I'm about to dig into this mug. <laughs> and I'm a city on my couch. I was supposed to be going to Ross to pick up some candles because, listen, when I tell y'all that my candles from Bed Bath and Beyond don't seem like they lasting as long as they used to, I mean, they used to like burn for at least a few days, you know, whatever. And granted, I do, I burn my candles quite a bit. But they have not been lasting as long as they normally do. I don't know what's happening, but they just haven't. But, um, you know, I need to give me some more candles already. And I just had a bunch from the last sale. So anyway, I said I was going to go to Ross and pick up me some candles and TJ Maxx and stuff and grab me some candles. But I feel like chilling today, y'all. I am in chill mode, which is okay. It's okay. So I got my little acai bowl here that I ordered from Uber Eats. <laughs> And I'm going to sit here online and order me some candles from Target because I like my Target candles as well. So, honey, I'm going to have me some Target candles delivered today and enjoy my little acai bowl. And when my candles get here, we can sit down and I will show you which candles I ordered. Okay. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and have me a little chill time today. Wait, my, look at my cute little acai bowl. <laughs> You guys, I just got my order of my candles delivered from Target. And this is my little cart that I put on the porch for people to put my deliveries in, whether it's groceries or whatever, because it makes it easier when I'm bringing it in the house. So we're going to sit down and 
I'm gonna show you guys which candles I ordered. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to share with you guys which candles I got. I got a few Yankee candles and then I got some other brand candles or whatever from Target. So this one is a clean cotton from Yankee Candle in these. Mmm, this smells good, yeah. It just smells like fresh linen. I already know I really like those, so I really did put pick a lot of scents that I've already had before, so I already know I like them. Now this one from Yankee Candle, I have never smelled before, so I don't know. This one is Bahama Beach Bum, looks like. Ooh, and I only got one of these because I wasn't sure, but oh, I wish I would have got more. It's like it smells like coconut and it's very reminiscent of being out, you know, out on the beach. But it's not like super duper overwhelmingly sweet or, you know, I don't like things that are too, too sugary or too, too sweet. That's why I kind of steer away from like a lot of vanilla and, you know, brown sugar and stuff like that. Oh, but this smells really, really dang. I wish I got two of these. Now I'm going to have to get another one. So that's what it is. That one smells really good. I wonder if that's a newer scent because I don't recall seeing that. Maybe it's just something out for the summer or something. I don't know. But this is um, another one, same thing, clean cotton. I got two of these. I like to burn those like upstairs because it kind of like fills upstairs and then drifts it down. So I like those. Let's see what else did I get? Oh, uh, this one is Yankee Candle Coconut Beach. So, mm, yeah, this smells really nice too. This one is a little bit more sweet, a little bit more coconutty, more so than the Bahama Beach Bum. I think the Bahama Beach Bum is kind of like, It's, it really does give you more of a scent like you're at like a resort or something like that. It kind of has more of a just vacation smell overall, whereas this one is more, truly more focused on the coconutiness. So yeah, this one is Coconut Beach. But they are very similar. Neither one of them is like ridiculously overpowering. So yeah, I like both of those a lot. And let me see. Turn this down. So what is this? Oh, got another coconut beach. So yeah, those the ones that I already know I like. I did get two of them. So I think that's all the Yankee candles I got. These other ones are um and so this one is Cozy Nights. I've had this one before. So yeah. I know that I really like this one. Here, let me give y'all a description on this because Cozy Nights ain't really telling you much. Um, Opal House. So these are from Opal House. It says, and they're soy. Um, does it give a description of this? It says burns up to 50 hours. Dang, it doesn't even um, give you like a description of the scent. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Maybe online it does. So if you're really curious, look online. It smells really good though. I mean, it does smell like a cozy night. <laughs> Too bad, I'm, I'm terrible at describing what scents are in here. But it's it's very light, not super overpowering. Um, It does smell a little bit kind of like a little bit sweet, a little bit gourmand-like, but mm, yeah, y'all gonna have to look that up. If I go online and look it up, I'll put it on the screen, but child, I couldn't tell you what's in there. It just smells good. This one is pineapple lemonade, thank goodness. <laughs> it, just, it just, the name describes what it is, and this is from Opal House as well. Yep, it smells just like, it smells more like pineapple than lemonade, but it's definitely a nice, beautiful combination of the two. Yeah. 
Ooh. And I think what I like about these candles, the soy candles, is that they're not super crazy overpowering. It's like they they give off a good amount of scent, but it's not to where you're just like, oh, it's too much, it's too much, you know? Because I really do not like food smelling candles. Okay, so this one is Blushing Amber from the same brand. Blushing Amber. Ooh, oh my gosh, it smells really good. I don't think I got these before. The Blushing Amber, I thought I had, but I don't know. This one smells really good. I'm not sure, but this one, yeah. That one smells really, really nice. <coughs> I think that one might be my favorite so far, the Blushing Amber. Gardenia Lotus. I typically love anything that smells like gardenia, so yeah. And this smells just like gardenia. Mmm, I like that. Like it a lot. I don't think I've purchased that one before either, so very happy with that. I got two of those, so another Gardenia Lotus. Um, yeah, so I basically got two of each, um, just because, you know, I felt like these are ones that I would really, really like. So this is another pineapple lemonade, and then I have another cozy night, I believe. Yeah, another cozy night. So those are all the candles that I ordered from Target, and I'm so happy because I have some more candles now we'll see how long these last but i probably am going to go by like ross and tj maxx and just pick up some more because i really like to fill up my cabinet so that i only buy candles a couple times a year but we'll see how long these last i have what one two three four five plus two four six am i missing one which one do I only have one of? I got the gardenia. <gasps> the blushing amber. I only bought one blushing amber. Oh man, I'm devastated now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get another blushing amber. <laughs> so anyways, I have four, the seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 candles and I paid like, I think like 190 something dollars, not quite $200 for all 12 candles. The Yankee candles are kind of expensive. The Yankee candles be like 17 bucks a pop, you know? But I do notice that these mugs do last a long time, okay? Out of all the candles that I buy, these mugs be lasting. So they probably last twice as long as my other candles. So it's kind of wor worth it. Anyway, those are the candles. Just want to share them with you and yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get some more of the amber, the amber, or blushing amber, because this mug smells so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Bad little flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Riding on a team, got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I hit the town, you should lie on me. Keep your minds on me. On try, baby, I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time if you lie with me. Just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know what's all up. Everything good. Keep the vibes on crush. I know what's all good. Know what's all Just 
promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck, I know it's all up Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good